Hello lovely people. Today I would like to share with you how I colour the background, this background, particularly this page, the background. Uh, because someone asked uh, me how I did it uh, in a Facebook group, colouring group. So I thought I would just um, I record a video, short video, to show how I colour this background using only one colour pencil. Okay, uh, this for this page I'm using Prisma Color, and the color the pencil is uh, PC one zero eight zero. Okay, so now uh, before I color, usually I have to make sure that I have got my pencils sharpened, uh, really sharp, so that it gets I can color um, you know tight spaces, uh, these nooks and crannies like that uh, easily. And usually, when you have uh, sharp pencils, it colors really well. Now, uh, what uh, what uh, sharpeners do you like to use? For me, I like to use uh, this uh, hand crank sharpeners. Uh, you can use any brand, but just make sure that. Um, let me show you the hole here. This opening here is big enough because some sharpeners, uh, the hole here, the opening here is small. And especially uh, for for Prisma colors, they are fine because the pencils are not too uh, thick. The, the the pencils are not uh, that thick. But for uh, pencils like uh, Holbein pencils, and especially this um, Museum Aquarel by um, Carondash, okay, pencils they are thick. So uh, I've tried uh, some even hand crank sharpeners which don't fit uh, this museum aquarel but uh, for on the go pencil on the go sharpeners I like um, to use I have it in a tin I keep it there so that it won't get lost this just a regular a sharpener it says the blade, blade is made in Germany uh, Faber Castell pencil a Faber Castell uh, sharpener so it does fit okay make sure it fits like this so it fits uh some sharpeners um, those really cheap ones like uh this one which i got as a freebie when i bought the brute Fener oily oily pencils uh which uh, i'm not going to get into the topic uh for today okay so i got this pen this uh, sharpener for free as a freebie uh it's so small here although just by millimeters uh, it, it doesn't work you see pencils like this it just won't uh, fit in but for Brutfener yes but even Holbein Holbein pencils can't you can't can't sharpen it doesn't fit okay what more uh, this museum aquarel it just won't go in it can't and uh, if you have this Brutfener square pencils um, I think you're going to have a problem with cheap color but cheap uh, sharpeners like this so make sure you've got the right sharpener okay let's uh let's go on now how when i have uh, sharpened like this how do i sharp how do i uh, color how did i color this uh, in circular motions lightly in circular motions just like um okay like this And uh, I would say this is just uh, mindless coloring. And usually when I color things like this, which I don't have to think, I would have a podcast or an audiobook on. So I just go in circular motion. Okay, it's kind of uh, relaxing actually. Just go, I mean, it takes time, of course. Pencil, uh, color pencils are a slow medium. Of course, it takes time. But if you, um, you know, you just do it slowly and you listen to a, an audio book or podcast or music, then I think it's it's quite uh, therapeutic to do this. It's you, you don't have to think. You just go around in circular motion. See? until you are done uh, lightly 
I, I wouldn't call I wouldn't say that I color uh, very lightly I, I don't have really light strokes I would say medium I don't like you know f uh, press it down really hard uh, I would say medium medium strength okay so when you've done when you're done go over it if you're not happy with it go over it with another layer till you're happy happy with uh, the results the the layers the colors the color the amount of color you is uh, the lay down of the color all right so that's all okay thank you and see you another time um if you like this video please like and subscribe thank you